few months back, we made a video of switching out the standard headset cup for the plus one, minus one cups on Millie's Evo in our garage. I've linked to that video above if you haven't checked it out. In that video, I used a bungee to prevent the forks dropping out of the head tube, though Jim commented that it is possible to switch out the cups without the bungee strap, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've been riding my new Evo Expert in the stock settings for the last couple of weeks and wanted to see how realistic this was to do in practice in the parking lot at Killington Bike Park, where I had been riding for the last couple of days. Other than talking the stem and stem cap with a torque wrench, the job was done with just the multi-tool that comes with the bike. So I set up my iPhone to record the proceedings and got wrenching. It's straightforward to loosen the stem and remove the bars from the stirrer tube. I'm juggling the spacers as I don't have anywhere to put them due to the distance I need to be from my phone to video the process. Typically you'd be able to put the spacers down on the car's tailgate which would simplify the process significantly. The next challenge I had was removing the headset cup from the head tube. In a workshop with the fork bungeed to stop it dropping out, it's easy to wiggle the stirrer tube back and forth which has loosened the cups in my prior attempts. I wasn't able to remove it this way, so I used the top of the steerer tube to push the cups out of the head tube. Annoyingly, I ended up dropping the cup and bearing on the ground, which won't help with their longevity. I'll clean them up when I get a moment. Then it's a matter of replacing the spacers, the bars and stem cap, followed by straightening the bars and torquing the bolts to spec. And there I go again, dropping one of the spacers. Start to finish, it took me about eight minutes. I think I'd save a minute or two if I had somewhere to place the items coming off and going onto the bike. Also, I think I'll be using a bungee to hold the fork more securely in future. I never felt that the fork would fall out of the head tube, but the bungee does stop the fork from flopping to the side. Plus, I'm pretty pleased with the multi-tool. I've used it for a few small jobs now and it's solidly constructed and works effectively. Let me know your experiences in the comments below and if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching Dizzy Does Downhill. Make sure to subscribe, put some comments down below, and like it.